<laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm cuter than that nigga though. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. What's I'm like, look at this nigga. Give it up the demolition man's nephew over here. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a hungry Wesley Snipes. <laughs> 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 That's funny. Hey, hey, my man, I got a little pecker too. <laughs> be okay. You just gotta be good at math. <laughs> yeah, you work them angles right. Three inches feels like ten. It's <laughs> 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 just arithmetic. <laughs> hey, did you break your leg tripping over those tight ass pants? Absolutely. <laughs> trying to get them on. <laughs> Hey, did you all know that little Richard had a secret? His real name was Lot of Dick. <laughs> yeah, he was packing, he was <laughs> right, you know what I'm talking about. I bet if you broke your leg, you wouldn't need a crutch, would you? Nope. Just swing that son bitch around. That's right. Right on. Right. <laughs> hey, fellas, and y'all like to watch the Asian porn? You know the Asians, the little spinners. <laughs> 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 I like to watch the Asian porn because they blur out the dicks. <laughs> and even when they don't, those little Asian fellas make my pecker look pretty respectable. <laughs> That's hilarious. How you guys doing? Good, good, good. Some people say there's no such thing as a happy accident. I say, oh yeah. <laughs> this one time, I rear-ended this girl. She took it like a champ. <laughs> We're both pretty happy. <laughs> Did you ever see a really, like, you know, really, really fat person and you feel terrible for their fabric? For their fabric. Like a pair of yoga pants stretched to full transparency. <laughs> Hey, any of y'all got one of them boomerang peckers, you know what I'm talking about? Not one of them curved up, not one of them bent joints. The boomerang pecker. You know, like when you give it to a gal real good and she leaves, but her ass always comes the fuck back. <laughs> There's a boomerang pecker. <laughs> when I was little, I heard there was going to be a WNBA. I was like, oh, cool, they're finally gonna let the white guys play. <laughs> <laughs> Recently, I've been excommunicated from the Amish. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they got mad. I was treating every day like a rum springer. <laughs> I was treating them more like hump springer, though. You know, I was just breaking it off in bitches. <laughs> Get your ass out of here! <laughs> they call me Jebba Daddy. <laughs> hey fellas, you ever go out to the club and you know, put that swagger on a hot chick? Take her home with you? And you wake up next to Mrs. Potato Head? <laughs> she got one eyelash stuck to the pillow. The other one just barely hanging the fuck on. Exhausted. Just flapping when she looks up at you. <laughs> Yo, she got that whole Kardashian kid of makeup smeared across your sheets. <laughs> right, a little bit on your window because you're kind of freaky and you pinned her up against that son of a bitch. <laughs> Half her titties in that bra on the floor. You're like, what the hell did I come home with? Just be yourself, you all beautiful. Did you ever get so bored from being so constipated? <laughs> You know, you just start looking at porn on the toilet. <laughs> you know, next thing you know, you got that erection stuck under the lip. <laughs> right, that some bitch is cranked down there like a catapult. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> or you let it loose, it looks like a ski jumper trying to take flight out of the toilet. <laughs> it's fucking looking up at you like, what's up, man? <laughs> looks like Eddie the Eagle trying to shoot up. All right, that's enough. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>